what's going on everybody take hey kick I'm about to get into a little comparison between the Roku 2 XD and the Apple TV and just to see the, the difference between the two and which one's best for you and like I said this compare this is gonna be a basic comparison of remotes designs and uh, OS on each one of them and that's pretty much what it's gonna be I ain't gonna try and make it seem like one's better than the other I'm just gonna give you the uh, the X and the uh, O's on this one, and you just for yourself. And let's get into it. Now, let's take a look at the Roku 2 XD. As you can see, it's a little small design. It fits right into your entertainment center. Now, if you take a look at the back of it, it has a HDMI port and an AV out port and a uh, AC port. And that's pretty much it as far as the looking design is. This ain't the one with the uh, USB cord. So let's take it now. Let's take a look at the Apple TV. Now, if you look at the Apple TV, it's a little bit bigger in size. It's not an extremely bigger device, but it still, it still fits right into any entertainment center. It fits right into the TV if you want it. But if you take a look at the little rim around, it's kind of like a little glare, like a little see-through type of glare. So I guess the remote can work and like access the controls in there. And so, and it's black on black. It goes, you know what I mean? Like I said, it fits in with the entertainment center. If you take a look at the back of it, it as a uh, power port. A HDMI, uh, uh, Ethernet port, and an uh, optical cable. Some of them don't have optical cable, but this one does. Now let's go and take a look at the remote. Now if you take a look at the Roku remote, it's pretty much simple. You got your directional pad, your back button, your home button. You got uh, your, your um, play and pause button, your uh, rewind and fast forward button. And it also has a little uh, designated app buttons like Netflix, Pandora, and Crackle. So you know what I mean, if you want to really want to get quick access to those type of apps, you just press the button and it takes you right into there. Now, if you take a look at this Apple remote, it's the most simplest remote I've ever seen in my life. It just has a directional pad with the center button, uh, and in some cases, the enter button, some remotes. It has a menu button and pause and play, uh, play and pause button. That's pretty much it as far as the remote. Now, the Apple TV does offer an app for the iPhone and iPod Touches that a remote app that you can control it with the iPod or iPhone. So, it, you have to go either or. Which way you want to go is all up to you. And so far, that's pretty much the look at the remotes and the uh, Roku 2 XD and Apple TV as far as which one, you know what I mean, which is which. And you can also see that it's really simple in both the, uh, both of them are real simple. You can, Like I said, you can tuck them right under your TV and it fits right into you, your entertainment center, wherever you want to tuck it at. It's pretty much simple. They both have HDMI outs, so you can get the best quality pitch as far as, what, 1080p. I think the Apple, this Apple TV has a 1080p output, so you can get 1080p as far as, you know, in, in both boxes. And the remotes are really simple. And the Roku 2 does have an app for Android and um, the Windows Phone, so you can use the app as well. Just the, the same thing, but you just can't get it on. You can get it on the iPhone too, I believe. You just can't get the iPhone remote app on Android and the, uh, Windows Phone. So uh, that's pretty much, you know, that's a given when, when it comes to Apple products. But now we're going to take a look at some of the OSs and the apps that both of these um, streaming players have, and it's pretty much the same in some cases, not completely. But I'm really going depth between the two and show you which one has apps that the other one doesn't have, which one has a different advantage that the other one doesn't have. So let's go and take a look at that right now. If you take a look at the Roku 2 XT's uh, OS right here, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much laid down. So you've got this little layout where you can just easily access your Netflix, your Hulu Plus, your Crackle, um, what else is there, uh, HBO Go and things like that. It's real simple. It's pretty much laid out for you. I never really had a problem with it. So, But if you take a look at when you go into the channel store, you can take a look at all the applications. Now, this has 300 plus applications if you, uh, if you want to know. Now, it also it has HBO Go, it has the Amazon Instant, Instant Player, Netflix, Hulu Plus, Crackle, and, but it also has UFC TV. Um, it has also have like games on it that you want to purchase certain games on, like Angry Birds and things like that. It has a Facebook app on there, it has uh, Epics. It has a whole bunch of applications that the Apple TV just not doesn't offer. Well, I don't know why. Like the HBO Go, a lot of people use that app. I think uh, Cinemax Go was on there too. I'm not too sure, but I'm not really sure about that. But like I said, it, it, it's, it's a well variety of apps and everything that you're really looking for as far as what you want out of your streaming player. So let's go on and take a look at the Apple TV now. Now, if you take a look at the Apple's OS right here, like I said, it's just as simple as the Roku 2 XD, and I, like I said, it's the easy, it's one of the easiest things to get into. Now, the Apple TV has Netflix, Hulu Plus, uh, YouTube, MLB.TV, and the NHL, and I think the Wall Street Journal, Vimeo, and uh, something else, but in trailers and things like that. But it's real simple to get into, and everything is in high definition. Ain't nothing like how with certain videos will be just in like standard edition. Everything is in 
high definition. That's one of the reasons why I like the Apple TV. And I must say, it also has that feature called AirPlay, where you can mirror, uh, send something from your phone onto the Apple TV, or like they have, I think it's called Air Mirroring, where you can have something on your laptop and you can play it on your um, Apple TV. Now, it also has iTunes, so you can watch movies and TV shows on it. Like some people say, they like that as an advantage for the Apple TV, but that gives that gives and takes in some cases because some like some people say well you can't get HBO Go you can't get Amazon to stream and play on it so that, it can kind of go both ways whichever way you go but like I said with Apple you know but you're gonna get you're gonna get iTunes you get all the stuff that's on iTunes you got Netflix Hulu Plus and YouTube now you got MLB.TV and other things but you just can't get certain applications that's on the Roku too like HBO Go uh, Cinemax Go UFC TV so there's little things like that you have to take a look at. And think about which one you're going to go for. You. Now, if you're in the Apple's ecosystem, definitely go for the Apple TV because if everything it does, it pretty much works with everything you got. So I definitely say if you're going to go with the Apple TV and you're part of the ecosystem, go with it. But if you like, uh, I mean, a lot more bang for your buck, like I say, Roku 2 has more applications. It probably has more to offer in some cases like everything else. So let's now here's my final review, well, my final take on these two streaming players. Now, I must say that both streaming players are good streaming players. Now, determining the winner, I say it's a tie, split down the middle, because each one has their, uh, you know what I mean, their advantages over the other. Like, the Apple TV has the iTunes, and we can watch movies and TV shows, and you can have that AirPlay meriting, uh, I think, Air meriting, AirPlay meriting, things like that. You know, you got access to Hulu Plus, Netflix, YouTube, you know, Vimeo. MLB.TV and uh, the NHL, but you know, Roku 2 offers, you know, the MLB and then um, NHL as well, and also has Netflix and Hulu Plus. It doesn't have YouTube, but somebody told me that you could go to an app and kind of get the same access to it, but I forgot the name of that, so I'm not going to sit here and try to figure that one out. But if you also take a look at um, the Roku 2, it has UFC.TV, it has a Facebook app, it has so many different apps, it has games on it as well, so you know. Like, you could use the Apple TV as if you're using your iOS device and you want to stream it onto your Apple TV. That's cool, but that's not using the Apple TV for games itself. So, it can go either way. Like I said, it's a tie down the middle for me. Like like I said, the Apple TV costs $100. You get 1080p streaming now. Roku 2, costs 80, well, Roku 2 XD costs $80. Now, you got the one that costs hundred dollars where you can get the game the motion gaming inside so whichever way you want to go you can't go wrong like I said this is a tie for me because they both have the advantages in each other way because I like the Roku too because I got the HBO Go, Cinemax Go, UFC TV you know all them other uh, applications that you just can't get on Apple TV so you know like I said this is a tie for me and if always leave your comments down below let me know what you think I always rate and subscribe to my channel because I really want to know what you guys think of which ones you prefer or which one you think is better than the other? If you're an Apple fanboy, please leave your, leave your comments down below. I want to hear what all y'all got to think. And I want to thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.